The following is approved for all audiences. Cruise is filmed on location with the men and women of the City of Atlanta Department of Watershed Management. All work orders are mandatory until completed. Watershed's men and women work hard to provide clean, safe drinking water for our customers. Mr. Flart responsibility of doing every day is to come in and get his group projects for me, um, get his striker, they pee on the day, do they walk around on their trucks, um, and they go out and they go to work and they do, he does such a good job. Um, me personally, myself, I go out and I do field site inspection um, with my guys, um, making sure that the area is safe up. Um, they have on their proper safety equipment when they're out in the field. My name is Mr. Floyd, Mr. Duraldi Floyd. I'm employed employee of the city of Atlanta, watershed management with the PEO Group for Business Maintenance. I've been with the city 20 something years. Uh, but right now, we are headed. The main operation today is to clear main lines, spills whatever there's a problem today up to obtain and to contain blockages and spills. But right now we're headed out here on Jackson Parkway that where the spill has already been happening, but it's already been cleared. But our, but our main object is to go out here and jet wash this line again, make sure there'll be another problem. Our main blockages are the reefs. You got people that live in the houses, buildings, business and they pour their grease down the uh, toilet, down the sink, and it causes a blockage. And uh, one thing that needs to be known is nationwide in the Malala GA is to not put grease in those, in those in your toilet, your sink, wherever. Do something else with it besides putting it in there. That can, that can stop a lot of blockages. Also we got blockages with, with gravel, Sand, rags, tissue, sticks, uh, even steel. People, people, people put steel down in the manhole. Also asphalt. This is a dangerous job, and this truck can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Because you got to have, you got to have the spirit to learn how to operate that reel out there. Because you're talking around about 2020, 2025 on the PSI. Disposable wipes do not always mean flushable. Baby and cleaning wipes do not dissolve when flushed and can lead to millions of your dollars going to infrastructure repairs. Wipes and paper towels should always be placed in the trash for proper disposal. Hashtag no wipes and pipes. So right here, it's a flush tank. That is a flush tank. That is the beginning of your sanitary line. Okay, this is, is the other manhole that's downstream, right down there by the Georgia Power Pole. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to this manhole and shoot back upstream, and we're gonna shoot back downstream. And make sure there is not another problem that's going on in this section. We got our fire hydrant, we got our hose. And what we do first before we fill those black tanks up there at the bottom of that truck, we can make sure the water is clear before it gets in that tank. It'll take three to four minutes to fill the tank up. It holds a, a thousand gallons. What I'm doing now, I'm taking this, I'm taking this hose, how this high pressure hose loop so I can put my dog onto my hose to shoot up the main line. Now what we're gonna do now is get Mr. Harris to take this hose over there and put in the manhole and we're gonna jet wash upstream. Where's Jimmy? Now, he's putting his nozzle in, his, in, in upstream, going upstream to the next manhole.
don't succeed everything and when it comes back under pressure, it pulls everything back down the line. Alright, we just PM one of our um, manholes, uh, which we had a spill on the early part of this week. It was a successful clean, so what we will be doing next, we're working with Recon is Unit, showing you all how we CCTV our manholes after we've been not cleaned the line to see what type of obstruction that we have going on in the line that possibly that may have caused a spill at that location. Don't blow the leaves into the storm drain. That will cause our roads to flood and pollute our natural resource, water. What am I supposed to do with all of these leaves on the ground? Y you think I should burn them? No, if you burn them, that will only add to air pollution. Look, we have a garden. We can put the leaves around the bottom of the plants and use them as mulch. <laughs> yes, dear. We could also rake them into low piles and you could mow over them with your brand new mulching mower. It will improve our soil and make our lawn beautiful. Okay, I see your point. You win this one. <laughs> For more tips on how to protect our water resources during the fall and winter season, visit our website at atlantawatershed.org and stay connected with us through our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at ATL Watershed. Hey, my name is Garaya Brown. I work for the uh, 360 Inglewood Wastewater Collection. Uh, plant. Not plant, but department. Uh, what I do, um, I'm a engineer aide. Um, I televise surveys, sewer lines, survey service laterals. Basically looking and checking for condition of the pipe or trying to locate a service lateral for a homeowner or a business, trying to find a manhole. Um, there's a lot of things we do, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you how we do it in recon, baby. Heard that this line was um, a spill sediment. What we do for spill sediment is this. We have a jet vac, which is that white truck you guys just seen, come out and wash the line. And following behind that, I will go and televise it. What we're doing is trying to find out why is it spilling, or if it's gonna happen again, or the condition of the pipe. If you wanna come to the back, this is our generator right here. Um, it powered the trailer, the power source for the computer, the camera, you know what I'm saying, the AC, all that good stuff. cable, which is the power for the camera. This is the camera right here. We keep put the caps on there so it won't um, do any damage to the prongs. Any damage. Okay. Right now, we're going to turn on the drum that's powered the uh, cable and the camera. When you come on, you'll see a red light. This is the emergency stop button in case something go wrong, like camera about to slide into a spill off. You just bam, hit that, it'll stop, it'll snug. Keep it from damage. Right now, I have to go direct control, you see that? I have to press on that. They're going to show you the live video footage of what's going on outside. Remember when I told you about the head? Just control the head, you move it on over there, bam. After we got this situated, what I'm going to do now is put all the stuff I told you guys earlier. Inspection sheet, CCTV inspection sheet. Since I can see what's going on here and I got it at a comfortable speed. 66. What I tend to do while it's coming back, I go to the edit sheet.
transmission, the inspection sheet. This is the edit sheet. I made the um, additional information. I put what I saw on the segment. Mine really don't have any problem except for a little crack, but the crack will not cause no serious damage in the near future. You can't tell the structural integrity of a pipe without a TV in the main line. Uh, you can't see what's stopping the pipe without the TV crew. You can't see what the problem is of a service ladder without a TV crew. Okay? And when you go down on the pipe and you can't locate a pipe, you'll need a TV crew to come out there and locate the pipe for you. Okay, today we was out in the field um, cleaning our sewer lines and doing a TV, a CCTV inspection on our main line on our, our previous field that we had earlier this week. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about safety with my guys being out here in the field. I want to make sure that they have all the proper equipment that they need to safe up the area so everyone can go home safely and we will return tomorrow doing the same thing. First in service, on the job, all the time. And remember, clean water is dirty work. Thank you. Cruz is filmed on location with the men and women of the City of Atlanta Department of Watershed Management. All work orders are mandatory until completed. Watershed's men and women work hard to provide clean, safe drinking water for our customers.